Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Keo Daiken. In today's video coverage, we are taking a look at CES 2026 located in Las Vegas. Many of you know this is also known as the Consumer Electronic Trade Show. There's thousands of different manufacturers here, different companies from around the world, and we're going to do our best to cover it in this week. But first and foremost, we're going to take a look and stop over at Ugreen, located in the South Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Uh, I love this company. I have a number of their different products. They also ma manufacture security cameras. Uh, I believe they have some new ones coming out. Power supplies, the whole nine yards. And so I almost forgot about this company. I recently bought one of the new NAS units, the 4800 Plus, and thank goodness I ran into them first because they were one of the first companies on my priority list. Now, Ugreen offers a host of different power products, wireless cameras, security cameras, portable batteries, power adapters, and then of course their NAS unit, which we are going to check out. In fact, the main unit that we're going to spotlight today is their brand new six bay AI NAS. I'll let one of the product representatives explain the unit a little bit better. But um, again, I hope to be doing business with this company a little bit more in the future. Um, I showed them some of the speed tests that I ran on my DX4800 Plus, and I will have a video on that because I bought that right after Black Friday, and I haven't had an opportunity to fully edit their video. So that's what really intrigued me about some of their new products. Really wanted to see exactly what they have to offer and show it here to all of my subscribers on the channel. Back to the CES 2026, and we are here at the Ugreen booth at CES 2026, and I'm here with one of the product managers, Deval here. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the brand new NAS unit coming out from Ugreen. All right, so this is our new AI NAS. It comes with Intel 25 or 255H processor with 16 core, 16 thread, 64 gigs of DDR5, LPDDR5X RAM, so really high uh, processing. It's mostly for our AI functions that we're gonna be releasing with this particular NAS. For example, you can, upload all your documents and you can start asking questions about that documents for example i do a lot of taxes for like many years so i can just upload that document i can ask what was my annual gross income in 2018 instead of opening that file and scrolling down and finding that information that can give me like a chat gpt style way to give me that information also you can upload like you can ask nas to change some settings right if i want to uh, lower the screen brightness i can just type it and it will lower the brightness of the screen. If I have some music or movies, I can just ask the NAS to play like Michael Jackson uh, music or play like Avengers movie. And you don't have to go through the apps, open it and then lo look at the file. Just type it what you want and it will open the file for you. And you can even for photos as well, we have facial recognition, object recognition. You can also train your own model if you have a specific object that you want to recognize with by AI, it can do all of that as well. With so, and it all happens locally. So you don't need to upload any of this information to the cloud. Even if you disconnect the internet, all the AI processing still happens locally because it's a local processor, right? This is basically a display that shows you um, the CPU usage, GPU usage, your memory usage, network information. Uh, and the best part is, let's say, for example, if you're not able to find it on the network, you can just have it shut down from here, restart from here. Um, you can do all of that from here. So in case if you can't find it on the network, you can just go here and find it. Nice. Hey, I was telling Deval here, I bought the 4800 Pro. Uh, it was on sale. I think I got it on Newegg. Really good deal. It was uh, 550 I think right now the normal price on these are about 699 it was quite showing them some of the speed tests I ran on this using the 10 gigabit connection. How, how did you guys feel about that 10 gigabit? It was amazing. We were, <laughs> we, well, so on a local network, we can achieve that speed, but um, but it, I, we were surprised to see that you were able to get 10 GB on an internet connection as well. So we were really happy on, on watching that video. Absolutely. So I can't wait to get that video up. Um, one of the things that I love about the 4800 Plus was that the ease of connectivity, there was another competitor I was looking at in the market but I really love the Ugreen because it was very simple, the price was direct, support was great, uh, the hardware is what it is, it has a 2.5 gigabit connection and a 10 on here as well. And of course you have some additional optimizations, but it looks really professional. I'm not even sure I'm supposed to open this. Oh yeah, yeah of course no. you can. And but you can easily install drives as well. Exactly, yeah. that is one thing that I love about it. And the cool thing is too, is this is ready to go. I believe this unit comes with eight gigabyte 
of base RAM. Of base RAM. A DDR5 as well. Of DDR5. And the cool thing about their Kickstarter, uh, this is still on Kickstarter right now, right? The, this is Kickstarter. This is released. And then you can upgrade the RAM and M add M.2s just by opening this particular screws right there. So very simple, no need to undo anything. Really easy to get into it. And he was just telling me too, with their Kickstarter, their products are ready to go. They're not gonna ask you guys if you wanna opt out of getting your own memory or anything like that. Their product is ready to go as is, as advertised. And so uh, you guys should support you, Green. I have a number of their different products, but um, I'll be contacting them here in the future. And I just wanted to showcase it here uh, on the channel. Thank you so much. All right, no problem, man. Thank you. Two Thunderbolt and then four Thunderbolt bolts. I think two in the back one or two in the front. Here. Can I see the back of it or? Uh, or should I just walk around? Uh, I would say that one. If you want to see the back, we'll be down here. All right. right there. Oh, this one? Oh, this one? Oh, Oh, I see. 10 GB HDMI. It has, it has, wait, dual 10 gig? Uh, dual, dual 10 gig, yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have to keep that. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep that then. Oh, that is nice. That's really nice, man. Dual 10 gig ports. Two Thunderbolt ports up front. So, more than 10 G, you can connect your Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt is IP over Ethernet. Right. So, you can connect the Mac computer and you I access the Thunderbolt as well. Okay, and what about uh, what processor is this one using? Is this one using a different chip than the yeah. 4800? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, this one uses the Intel Ultra 7 255H. So oh. 16 core, 16 thread. Oh, that's nice. Four gigs of DDR, LP, DDR5. Oh, DDR, yeah. And how much is this unit uh, going to be retail? Uh, so or Kickstarter right now? With, uh, Kickstarter is $25.99. Oh, oh. sorry. Uh, $25.99 retail. Kickstarter is about, I think, $15.49. $15.49. With the display. Without the display, it's the same specs. $19.99 retail. And $11.99 for uh, Kickstarter. What other type of speed tests have you guys ran, I guess, either over internet or... Locally, we just do, well, we combine them together. Right. So, 20 gigs of connectivity. 20 gigs. And then Thunderbolt, which is more than, well, more than 10 gigs. So, we're not going to be able to reach 40 gigs for sure. Right. What what drives do you guys typically recommend when you run your test? Um, iWork Pro. Uh, Red, Red Pro. iWork Pro. iWork Pro? Yeah. And then SSM.2. Okay. Sweet. No internet speed test, right? <laughs> I it's like so rare to get 10 gigs. Uh, my is five. It's five? It's five. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase of the NAS Sync IDX6011 Pro. I do believe that is the correct model number of this particular unit that is now available on Kickstarter for fifteen. Uh, so it worked for one thousand five hundred and fifty-nine dollars. It has an MSRP of two thousand five hundred and ninety-nine dollars. I do believe the release date is scheduled for about April or May of this year. Don't quote me on that, but that was just a rough estimate as to when this unit is going to release. Hopefully I can get my hands on one of these. Uh, they're really impressive. Six bays, which is a lot. I believe this hosts up to 196 gigabytes. I'm sorry, 196 terabytes of local storage. And additionally, this also comes with 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. So uh, stay tuned. I will have a little bit more information about this particular unit and some upcoming videos. But until next time, this is Kill Dyken reporting live from CES 2026. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.